Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Thursday, the 2nd of February 2023. So last night uh, the Fed uh, hike rates 25 basis points as expected, maintains a hawsh, hawkish uh, ongoing increases uh, in his language in his press conference after. But despite that the markets just ripped higher, stock bonds and gold soar as Powell shrugs off uh, loosening financial conditions. Uh, bonds, big tech, Bitcoin and bullion blast off as dovish uh, Powell pussies out and uh, stocks and bonds rip after Powell uh, lays dovish escape route, uh, which I don't think he did uh, when looking through uh, some videos, but uh, that's how it was interpreted by the market. US stocks gained and the dollar fell after the Fed uh, slowed pace of rate hikes and uh, panic, the panic to buy shorts carried out on stretches. And then uh, finally, in more than 40 years of trading, never have I witnessed a market fighting the Fed as boldly as this one. Uh, traders to take on the Fed over rates and might win the battle. Well, they're certainly winning at the moment because the market really ripped higher yesterday. Uh, that's uh, for sure. Uh, economic news today, more interest rate news. Midday, the Bank of England to raise rates by half of 1%, yet... Uh, a news item last week or the week before, they, they finished with it. So, again, you just can't believe anything uh, that you see, even in the, in the charts, with uh, the way that they're just taking over the markets from October and just continue to move prices. I've said before, they're going to take it back to the all-time highs. The only thing for me that will stop this market is if they get another hot CPI number, something comes out where it's 1% higher, than the numbers but we know they actually fiddle the numbers anyway so you know that would be the only thing that would uh, create the market to to move lower i mean they always do eventually you know, it'll run and run and run but probably to the all-time highs and then uh, move lower uh, we've got uh, main refinancing uh, rate for the eurozone as well they're going to increase rates uh, by uh, half a percent as well or forecast to do so and then there's a press conference by uh, lagarde and uh, we've got to US unemployment claims, but they'll be a non-starter given everything else that's going on. OK, let's uh, kick off with the Dow and have a look, see how the market reacted to uh, yesterday's quarter of a percent, not half a percent or three quarters of a percent uh, rise in interest rates. So as can be seen here, the market uh, ripping higher, uh, trading up uh, to more or less the um, resistance to the left uh, double top there just under it at 89.3420. Not as big a move as I was expecting uh, as far as the Dow is concerned. Let's just have a, a look and see what we actually uh, had on this move. So there's the low to high, uh, 778. Mind you, that's not inconsiderable, is it? Um, good range, but uh, what's interesting is that the market's not following through at the moment, back to uh, yesterday's high. So maybe... You know, the fact that Powell said there are no uh, rate cuts this year, uh, which was a question that was asked, maybe that's uh, what's playing uh, into this uh, sort of lacklustre overnight. Um, doesn't mean to say that once we get to the DP, the market won't have another attempt at the high. But uh, going back to the daily, the Dow is, you know, still hasn't got back to the high that we saw over here, which was back in December uh, 13. So... Yeah, and you think by heart, you know, not to raising rates as much, the market would have ripped through all of this, but it didn't. That uh, doesn't mean to say it won't, but uh, as you look at the daily chart, it's nowhere near yesterday's high as far as the uh, Dow is concerned. In the implied volatility, though, very interesting picture. As you can see, we're down at 14.75. Uh, we had the 14.67 a few weeks ago, had this uh, drop off, which is great. We'd like to see this move down to that sort of, um, oh, this is the 12-month uh, chart, you know, down to these levels. Get down to 13, 14, that sort of level. We're in the ballpark for a correction, uh, but I'd like to see this go low. I'd like to see another spike down on this. And in order to do that, you've got to have another few up days in the uh, Dow uh, in order to uh, pull that one off. But uh, we're in the area. We're in the, we're in the, the area and it's going to be a while before we get another rate increase so you have to be some good news to keep this market going to the upside isn't it uh, that's for sure so there you go there's uh, a closer look you can see uh, the move down yesterday with that 700 plus move to the upside in the underlying market and in the german dex daily chart you can see the market ripping through the resistance that we had uh, to the left 
uh, dominated this market 15272 we're finding a bit of support there for yesterday at this level we're not above yesterday's high though uh, 30 actually let's go further out monthly charts you can see that we're at 78 percent retracement remember we drew this in weeks ago uh, market now trading at 78 16,000 uh, sorry 15,309 and not far off that uh, 16,000 target as far as the DAX is concerned very very strong uh, compared to the uh, US markets weekly chart at the 78% retracement after two weeks of waiting for the Fed and that's the only thing really that's going to hold this back is because when's the next news that's going to be major well we've got tomorrow we've got the non-farm payroll but then we've got a month haven't we we've got the CPI in between and if that comes out soft then the market uh, has every chance of going up to uh, 89 and then on to the all-time high as far as the DAX is concerned in the 30-minute uh, chart, so I'll just grab that. Uh, you can see that uh, we've got uh, the news there yesterday, and uh, the move from that news for the DAX was another couple of hundred points higher. Uh, yesterday in the trading session, the market trading water eventually broke to the upside, then pulled back, and then traded sideways once more and waited for the news. It was a bit of a boring day, but uh, not uncommon given... Uh, the uh, economic news that the market was waiting for so there you can see yesterday we moved up in the cash then back down and then just traded sideways eventually moved up uh, 100 points and then uh, eventually uh, moved back down and then had to wait until the evening where you can see there the market just ramping up a couple of hundred points on the electronic uh, dax there overnight the market uh, down towards the dp let's just compress the chart and have a look see what we've got uh, the high not that far away only um, from what I can see 30 points or whatever got the DP and the 200 MA there as well in the five minute chart to pick up any sort of weakness that comes into the markets got the ECB today quarter of a percent so the market may tread water on that one but you can see there that uh, uh, the high is not too far away it's actually about 50 points that is that's not uh, 30 points let's just get a, a ballpark uh, run at that uh, yeah 58 points there you go yeah it looked too uh, short of a move so yeah 60 points ish up to the high got the dp there in the 30 minute obviously it's in all time frames and then support at these levels it's about time we saw some profit taking in this market as uh, can be seen we've not had a down move we've just had sideways waiting get the interest rates out of the way today we've got the non-farm payroll tomorrow out of the way and then there may be a chance of some sort of correction in this market but at the moment there's no uh, stopping it and uh, apart from like i say 78 percent retracement in the weekly and monthly chart there in the s p big move yesterday taking out the resistance uh, to the left uh, which uh, you can see there 4138 uh, market struggling with this uh, overnight so a new high has been made since uh, that december 13 high but uh, not holding at the moment like i say now it'll tread water till we have the non-farm payrolls uh tomorrow no doubt so there's your move yesterday very quiet and then bang uh ripped higher it was no surprise was it uh, as we spoke of yesterday uh, FTSE though uh, starting to uh, show a bit of weakness here it's uh, not uh, broken out of the sideways move from yesterday's news uh, which is interesting but then we do have the uh, Bank of England today so that might give the market a bit of impetus uh, but there's your overnight reaction only 50 points in the uh, FTSE there GBP JPY uh, down as the dollar was down last night as well you can see we tried to bounce a bit off the news uh, but uh, prior to that the market had traded down all day and uh, overnight uh, price is trying to bounce back a bit meanwhile in the pound trying to get back to that uh, 124 uh, level there or 2450 and in the 30 minute you can see the reaction there up 100 points on uh, the news last night um, sideways most of the day pulling back to the low again the low being very important and bang straight up to the previous day's high uh, it's got a new high up here at 124.53 uh, or in that area so 120 well it's actually 124 um yeah see if the market can get uh, above that one but yeah in the daily chart uh, you can see that we're still off that uh, 124 uh, four level 
in the dollar 30 minute chart markets reaction last night uh, they would have wanted obviously the dollar wanted a, a higher number got 25 basis points markets down it's uh, coming back a bit on the overnight there at the moment so let's have a look at the metals we'll kick off with the gold silver ratio still sideways still in that 81 uh, range there as well well interestingly enough um Silver still stuck in the sideways range, can't break that and hold above that 24 level. And I'll show you now that already started to hammer it back down to this level. It's going to go through this uh, today. Uh, this is just uh, one of those situations where the market reacted to the dollar, but they'll try and bring that back. So uh, watch the 24 level being taken out uh, either at lunchtime when they do the London fix. It's ridiculous that it's still this low, uh, absurd. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, everything else has gone up 20 or 30 percent, and silver is still half price from uh, compared to 1979. Meanwhile, gold uh, ripping higher yesterday as well, putting in a new uh, UK high, and uh, you can see that uh, reaction uh, yesterday. So we're holding nicely on uh, the overnight there as well at the close of yesterday. It's probably going to be the star performer of the year. Okay, that's it for this one. Let's see if the uh, Bank of England Bailey has the balls to raise rates uh, 50 basis points and Lagarde later today as well. Non-farm payrolls tomorrow and then it's going to be very quiet next week, isn't it? Uh, without all of the drama and everything else. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, still some more news to come. Let's see how the market reacts uh, later today. Okay, that's it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next